Hey everybody, Shane here with RPG Maker MV, the new RPG Maker in the series that came out yesterday. I'm recording this on Saturday the 24th, waiting for Ruby to come out in two hours, but that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is to just take a look at whatever this new engine has to offer, because as many of you may know, I've been using RPG Maker VX Ace since maybe sophomore year of high school, which would have been four years ago? Let's just say it was four years ago. So we're just gonna dabble, see what this thing has to offer. Oop! Uh, see, it's creating all of the, uh, the runtime package. Uh, as it said in the official website and all the other things, MV now includes the runtime package. That way we don't have to worry about people not having the runtime package. So it's already included, which is nice. And my mic, headphones, yeah, those things. They're just dangling all over the place. Let me drink some water real quick. Okay, so now, oh yes. Well, another thing that is different is that the resolution is higher. The pixels were once 32 by 32, now they are 45 by 45. So where do I want to start? Um, the database is a good place to start, and I don't even know what that looks like. Is this the database, or is this the plugins? Nope, that's the database. Oh, everything looks so nice. So nice and so clean, so fresh and so clean. Okay, so let's take a look at these faces. Um, very anime-esque that okay you still can't see my mouse Ooh, monsters nature oh they have dogs and they have a cat uh people oh who it's the same people from say vx but they're upgraded interesting uh, the characters, ooh, I'm gonna have to relearn how to make characters. These actually look proportional, perhaps, unlike VX's and VX Aces where the heads were huge. Uh, let's see, I should really take a look at the, ooh, damage, yes, damage is cool. Uh, side, vi side view battlers. They have entire sprite sheets for them, so that's interesting. It's better than the current side view, where it's just the side view of this. So, yeah, now that that's taken a look at, let's see about the character creator. Let's see what that's all about. Ooh, nice. Okay, so... Who should I make first? Just a random character? We can choose their skin color. We can make them... Oh, this will be great for Emmerbar, uh, who's essentially a goblin. I mean, his skin was brown because that's what it was, but we can make his skin color this. That way we can show how evil it is. That's very nice. Uh, so yeah, let's just go with face. Oh, get to choose the face. Ah, these are just the variations I see. So, Emmerbar. I'd like Emmerbar to have a pretty masculine face. So, front hair. He's bald. But, alright, rear hair. As I said, he's bald. <coughs> Ooh, pardon me. Beard. Ooh. I can add stubble now. That's amazing. But this is Zimmerbar we're talking about. Ears, obviously. We're gonna have that skin color. That's gonna change the whole skin color, right? Yeah. Eyes. Ooh, shit. Nice. Well, that's right there. I don't know what eyes he has. Can I just make them gray? Or what's this variation? Let's get something big. That way I can look at the color variations. So blue, green, reddish, purple. No, that's red, so it's like brown, I guess. Different variations of yellow, light blue, 
very red, yellow, green, purple, or black. Let's just make his eyes black and keep going. Eyebrows. Can I? These look intense. Let's just... That's fine. I There's no option for no eyebrows, though, which is slightly disappointing. Nose. Oh, a lot of these noses look the same. Where's a strong nose? That's goblin-esque, right? Mouth. Hmm. Oh, but this one... Yes. That one's nice. Facial marks. Um... Uh, facial mark color, we can... There we go. But, I mean... Let's just not worry about it right now. Beast ears. Oh, we can add this back. Hmm. That's not for Ember Bartley's tail. Wings. Oh, he does have wings, but... Ooh. Yes. Oh, no. Oh. There, yeah. The entire thing is his wings are an extension of self. That looks pretty neat. The only issue for me, though, is... Oh, it even has the damage. So... This is very useful. The only thing is that... I mean, I understand. People would have to... Ooh, clothes. And I'm assuming, yeah. Clothing. There's just a lot more to pick from. And let's see what he would have wore. Yeah. I don't want to keep just choosing gray. I mean, if anything... How naked are you? Underneath all that. You look pretty naked. Um... No, but you know what? It's probably fine. Um, yeah. That's fine. Cloak. No, does the cloak work with the wings? Let me see. Probably not. Accessories. Hmm. Uh, earrings. That's a nice detail to have. Uh, some bandanas. Nah. I like the earrings, just as an aesthetic thing. Make them pop. Uh, and then anything else? Nope. Okay. And glasses. Let's see what kind of... Oh, no. <laughs> Obviously. So, this thing is amazing. Uh, it has the face graphic, and it has all the side animations for side view battles, and it has the sprites for overworld, and the damage. The damage is very nice. So let's see what else it could pop out. Oh, wow. Already looks better than what I created. Uh, let's see. Face image. Ah, we can... What does it mean to import? Ooh. Wait, what? Ah, we can... Easily add everything together. Cool. Uh, wall character. Yeah, just easily add everything together rather than having to wait can i do this oh i can nice battler nice and see if well that that was the character creation so let's go back to the database and take a look at this um i see they kept the nicknames uh, i never really used those but it doesn't matter um different hero warrior mage priest different classes nice traits uh, traits are the same as VX Ace. Oh, okay. Don't know what that was. But it was loud. So, it's nice. Weapon comes with uh, defaults. Therese. Marsha. Lucius. So everything is the same. Classes. Yeah, everything right here looks the same from VX Ace. Skills. I do know that the maximum is now like 2,000. So... I'm also glad that they don't have as much sword, axe, cane, bow. Yeah, there's not hundreds. Ooh, let's look at the enemy graphics. Ooh, that's not what I wanted to get. Stop being loud. Um, different actors. Okay, that's something. Um. 
the different actors have their battle sprites, which I like because XP had it, but then they removed it with VX. Then Angels, obviously Assassin's Bat. Let's just put that. God damn it! All right, let's open volume mixer. Let's mute you. All right, going back. Okay, that behemoth is less frightening than the last one. Captain Cerberus, uh, Chimera, Cockatrice, Dark Lord, Dark Lord Final Death, interesting design, Demon Dragon, that's, it's more soft and round is what I'm noticing. Gargoyle, hmm. Garuda, Gazer, General, General M, Ghost God. Yeah, a lot of this stuff is just more Iron Giant. Hmm. They used to just be like a Titan looking esque thing. Oh, the Minotaur, that's interesting. Ogre, that's fine. Orc. Uh, yeah, everything's just more rounded, is what I'm noticing. Slime, fun, soldier spider, we're getting to the end, swordsman, vampire, water spirit, werewolf, that looks pretty nice, will wisp wind spirit, and zombie, I get it, I have to work, I'll see brains, um, troops, I'm assuming that it's, yeah, times two, times two, then bosses, states, knockout, go, knockout, I don't even call it death anymore. What's this Pokemon? Guard Immortal, Poison Blind. Nice, all this. Animations. Okay, so. It seems everything is pretty much the same. Tile sets. Overworld. Outside. Um. They seem. It seems to be the same exact tiles, just updated. Inside. Oh yeah, it's essentially the same tile set, just in a higher resolution. Dungeon, but this is new, the SF outside. It's, oh, wait, wait, SF as in science fiction? Yeah. Uh -huh. And then inside, yeah. What other place would have lasers? Common events. Uh, system. Window color, always fun to mess with. Ooh, I should test out a battle. S use side view battle, start transparent. Uh, that's decent. Show player follows, knock out by slip damage, knock out by floor damage, display TP in battle, XP for reserve members. I always like that. I guess, I mean, it's up to the developer. Ooh, types, elements, skills, weapons, and terms. This is going to just be your... Vocabulary. Oh, this is a different thing. Alright, so let's go to troops and let's battle test the Minotaur. And let's just put everybody at level 10, I guess. Maybe. Level 10. I could just type it. Typing would probably be a lot faster. Alright. Do they start in side view? Uh, will the battle fit on... Okay, well. And hello. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. Okay, whenever you... Oh yeah, I forgot. Mouse enabled. That's a thing. So whenever you do the side battle, that's really loud. Whenever you do side battle, you'd have to adjust for that. And I wonder, oh, I wonder if you can. All right, so fight, attack, Minotaur. All right, let's just keep attacking the Minotaur before we switch over to magic. Ooh, nice. They have, ooh, weapons are out. Always good, always good. Ah, a wonder. I wonder if I could clean up this 
I mean, obviously I can import graphics. So, I wonder if I can clean up this and use this for the fight scenes in Edgestorm. That's just me. Heal, spark. Let's see, nothing, so we'll just... We'll just attack, magic, fire. See how the animations look, and magic, heal. Well, they didn't take any damage, so attack. Should take out the guard. Fire, nice. And it killed him. Nice. Victory pose. So going back to enemies. No, no, it would have to be troops, yeah. Uh, a line. The only issue I have with this, though, is if you know you're having a side view system, why have only one align for front view? Why not have the align put it over here? That way it works well with side view as well. Um, okay, I mean, that's the database. Let's just not apply anything. Here's the plugin manager. So, god damn, it's loud still. I mean... Okay, um... Ooh. Alt menu screen. Okay. What does that look like? Let's... Actually, no. Let's remove that. And just load up the actual... Project itself. Project 1, new game. Ooh, sounds... Okay. Okay, so... The controls are a little... hard. I'm trying to... move, and then if I put in a control, they have to complete their initial movement before they go into the control. It's not very fluid. Then again, it is, it is good base, so I don't know what I'm expecting. Alright, so as for the menu... Menu... It's the same. Yeah. Status... That's pretty loud. Anyway. And let's check out a plugin. The alternate menu plugin. And see... How it looks. New game, uh, yes. And, oh, well, this is neat. I mean, it's just putting it on a different angle, but it's essentially the same thing. So, that's cool. Uh, this is the sound manager. You'll just be able to listen to the sounds that you have. This is the event searcher. Nice. Uh, this will help a lot. Um... Let's just make a map. Here, have some water. That's a lot of sand. And then we can have some darker spots in the middle. And maybe throw some rocks around the edges. Or maybe you wanted it to be a glacier. We could have it as a glacier, but it doesn't matter. How about poison? You want poisons over here? Oh, I can see it bubbling. I wonder if that's animated. And then just throw some of that in there. But what's really cool is I'm going to be able to do this. Nope, that's not right. Whatever. Uh, it's the trees. So I'm a, I would have to change the tile set to outside. Alright, loop. That's encounter steps. Yeah, that's about right. Background music, select spot off, specify battle back. Let's take a look at the battle backs. That's quite nice. Uh, I think it's the same. Just I res as I s I've said, been saying. Okay. Uh, there. Here we go. If I want a tent, I could. There we go. I can have multiple tents lined up on top of each other. You just have to make sure you know what you're doing. So, say I have just a row of trees. 
I can now finally do this because in VX Ace I had to be creative in the way that I did Pokemon. Or I can do this like usual because that. Wait, I got this. Hold on, there we go. That's essentially the same thing. However, it just adds a little bit more shading because that's the way that tile set was designed. Or I could just layer boxes on top of each other. That would be really useful. Uh, what else? I'm just having fun at this point. It's all about having fun. And what's R? Oh, regions. So that's its own tab. I wonder. All right. So we have a building here. If I knew how to map, shh, it's okay. We have building, and then oh wait wait wait. Here's the thing that I use quite frequently. I mean, yeah, I don't know. That seems about right. Stew. Ooh. It's, get, it's getting hot in Topeka. So, okay, at this point I'm just rambling and it's been about 21 minutes. So, this has been my first look at RPG, RPG Maker MV. And I hope to do something in this engine after I complete Edgestorm on the VX Ace engine. I don't want another issue like I had with Process of Death, which was made on the original VX, and then whenever VX Ace came out, I wanted to start over on the new engine. Don't I don't suggest doing that. I suggest completing your project on whatever engine that you're using, and then perhaps upgrading to the next engine, only if that's something that would interest you. I mean, it's a good, uh, well, challenge to see what you can and cannot do with upgrades and engines, but I know for a fact that I'm. Our Edgestorm was written for RPG Maker VX Ace, and maybe I'll make a new project that is designed for MV, and we'll just see how that goes. But, as I've said, I'm Shane, this has been RPG Maker MV, and I thank you for watching, so have a good day.